what do acoustic models do and what do they do to the sound waves? First, let's talk about absorption. Absorbers are made of porous materials that air can pass through. The air molecules, they rub against the material, converting the sound energy into thermal energy, reducing the energy of the sound wave and thus dampening the sound. Common materials include melamine foam, mineral wool or PET fleece. These materials are open port, so they allow air to pass through. One thing to keep in mind is that low frequencies have longer wavelengths and are harder to absorb. An absorber must be at least a quarter of the wavelength of the frequency in order to absorb that frequency, which for low frequencies like for example 100 Hz is about 85 centimeters. If you use only thin absorbers, you will absorb lots of the high frequencies in your room, but not really do much in the bass range. Because of that, special absorbers such as broadband absorbers and bass traps are necessary to control low frequencies. Next, let's talk about reflection. Sound waves that are not absorbed are reflected off hard surfaces. These reflections can affect the sound profile in the room, causing echoes, echoes and reverberation that can make the audio sound muddled and unclear. Managing these reflections is crucial for maintaining a balanced and accurate listening environment. Diffusers essentially break up the sound waves and scatter them in multiple directions, creating a more even and pleasant sound distribution in the room. A room equipped only with absorbers often sounds too dry, dull and unnatural. The combination of absorbers, reflective surfaces and diffusers creates a balanced sound profile for this room. What do you use in your room for mixing, producing and recording? Do you prefer a room with a little more reverb or more short and dry? Tell us below!